Okay, so we just talked about going um, and finding the perimeters of many different polygons, whether they are triangles, rectangles, pentagons, squares, hexagons, even octagons, okay? And it's easy because we just add up the sides. When we start talking about area, area is the amount of space inside of the polygon. And you have to basically memorize a bunch of different formulas to help figure it out to help figure out each one, depending on what shape it is. So we're gonna start with a rectangle or a square. Okay, they're the same thing, okay? The formula for a rectangle, for the area of a rectangle, area equals length times width. Okay, so I made this rectangle right here, and I use my ruler, and I know that it's three inches wide and four inches long, okay? I know that. Now the area, to, fit, to show the area, what I did is every line, or every inch, I made a little line. And then I made lines going the entire length and width of the rectangle. Okay. When I was done, see how I have all these squares here? Okay. Those squares are called units of area. In this case, it's a square inch. It's a square inch. It's a square where each side is an inch. Question. How do you know that I'm That what? Because I measured it. I measured an inch each way. So now I have each of my squares is one inch by one inch. One inch width, one inch length. If I were measuring it in centimeters, I would have marked it for every centimeter. Okay. And then look, I can go through and I can count to see how many square inches I have. Okay? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops, I made that a six again. What was I thinking? Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, so my area of this is 12 square inches. Okay. But I don't want to draw out the rectangles and squares every single time. Okay, 12 square inches. So I have my formula, length times width. Question? It doesn't matter. And really, when you do this on your assignments, you're probably never going to draw these squares out. I just did it to show you to see that our formula is correct. Math is true. Okay. So what is the length of my rectangle? What's the length? Who can tell me? Andrew. Or sorry, Justin. No, the length of my rectangle. What is it? Eli, four. Uh -huh. Four. The length is four. And I need to multiply it by the width. How wide is this rectangle? What's the width? Three. So when I use my formula, length times width, what is four times three? What is four times three? What do I do? Twelve. Twelve. So when I use my formula, I found out that my area is twelve square inches. Okay. Do you guys see why we call them square inches? Because we made an in, uh, a, a square with each side being an inch. We took an inch and made it into a square. Now, isn't this rectangle kind of like, remember when we, had the, we were learning multiplication and you had to show it in pictures? And you did one, the diagram with this? That's basically all it is. Okay? Now, we're going to get into something tough now. If I just give you a rectangle and say, well, what's the, what's the... Area, well, you know how to do that, but sometimes we get tough ones, ones that aren't just straight rectangles, like this one right here. Now, you might panic and say, oh, my goodness, what is that? But guess what? If we know how to find the area of a rectangle and we know how to add and subtract, we know how to do this, okay? Here's what I'm going to do. Step one is going to make sure all the sides are labeled. Make 
sure all the sides are labeled. Are all these sides labeled? Do I know how, how long every side is? It is. Step two, guess what? I'm going to make rectangles. What? Watch. Step two. Make rectangles. Watch this. You're going to think I'm magic. Find the area of this might be tough. You might have to draw out all those squares. So we don't want to do that. That takes time. Too much time. Okay? I'm going to make turn this into two rectangles by doing this. Boom. I have a rectangle here and I have a rectangle here. Now, I'm still not quite ready to figure it out yet. What I need to do is I need to label my new rectangles. Now, how long is this side from here to here? How long is this side of the rectangle going to be? We can look and we can figure it out pretty easily. How long? Three. three. Yeah, three. What about from here to here? What's the length of that one going to be? Hmm. <laughs> Justin. Five inches? No. If I have 10 and we know this is 3, hmm, what's this? We can also look down here to help figure it out. What is it? 7. 7. Okay. Now, step 3. That was step 3, sorry. Step 4. Got to put my, my cool, I mean business voice on for the new steps. Step 4. Find the areas of the rectangles. Rachel, do you have a question? Because this is three, okay. and I made the straight line going up, my rectangle has to, the, remember the sides opposite of each other have to be the same. Okay, so this rectangle right here, I'm going to multiply my length times the width. Eight times three is 24. So I'll put 24 right there just to make sure. You guys see that? Now, how am I going to find the area of this rectangle right here? Hmm. 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 Seven times. Yeah, 7 times 15 because this long one right here to here and here to here is 15. Guess what? Look. 8, 7, and 8. We know it's going to be 15. And there's 15 right here. So 15 times 7. Okay, five, three. Seven times one is seven, plus three more is 10. 105. But guess what? I'm not done yet. Who thinks they can tell me what I'm gonna write down for step number five? What am I gonna write down for step number five? Add Yes, I'm gonna add the areas of the rectangles. So I'm going to go 105 plus 24. 5 plus 4 is 9. 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 plus nothing is 1. My area of this whole thing right here is 129. And we'll say square inches. 
I'll put inches on each of these so we know it's square inches. Okay, question. Just so I can see, yeah. Okay, so remember the five steps we have to do. Make sure all the sides are labeled. Make rectangles out of it. Label my new rectangles. Find the areas of those rectangles and add the areas of the rectangles together. Okay, you guys can go ahead. Um, if you're watching this, you can go ahead and stop it if this helps with your homework. Or I'm going to show you guys one more. Okay, show you one more. Okay. Now this one. Uh oh. Thank you for putting that down. Step one, here, I'm going to zoom this out so we can see all the steps and do it. Step one says make sure all the sides are labeled. Are all the sides on this one labeled? What do I, what? I'm missing this one right here and this one right here, but can I figure it out if I know these other ones? If this from here to here is 24, and here to here is 18, what's this one on the end going to be? Hmm. No, because 18 and 18 doesn't equal 24. Remember, going from here all the way to here is going to be 24. Six, perfect. And what about this one? I know going from here to here is 30 and I know this one right here is 6 so what's this one right here going to be hmm Justin no because 6 plus 12 doesn't equal 30 24 now my sides are labeled I'm gonna make new rectangles okay and okay so my new rectangles are gonna be right here Bam. Okay. I know this is six, so when I label my new rectangles, if this one is six, this one has to be six. And if this is 18, this one has to be 18. And now I'm going to find the area of each rectangle. This one is 18 times six, so I'm going to go 18 times six. That's 48. Put my four up here. Six times one is six, plus four is 10. And, okay, then I'm going to go 6 times 30. Oh, that's a big one. Okay. 6 plus 0 is, so times 0 is 0. 6 times 3 is 18. 180. So this one is 108. This one is 180. And step 5 is add them together. 108 plus 180, 882, 288, and we'll say square inches. I'll put inches on each of these. Okay, so all I did was I went by these five steps. When I had those five steps, I was able to find out any shape that has right angles on the ends, I can do it just by making those rectangles. Um, will it, is it kind of like when, because you did the 30 and the 6 to find out the uh, other one? Uh-huh. Will it always be like the parallel lines going that way or that way? For what we're doing, yes. Okay. When you learn how to do the areas of different shapes, They'll start giving you ones that have diagonal lines, and you'll have to figure them out using those area formulas, not just the area of a rectangle, okay?